Russian President Vladimir Putin is going to the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics and thinks that the possible United States boycott of the event is nonsense. There's been a chorus of Republican voices telling President Joe Biden and his administration to not send athletes to China because of human rights violations or have the Biden administration put pressure on the International Olympic Committee to pull the 2022 event out of China. Here's a tip for the former South Carolina governor and former American ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley. The International Olympic Committee doesn't care about you saying that China is more obviously dangerous today than Nazi Germany was in 1936. The IOC poobahs probably had a good laugh when they read or heard about your words last March. Other politicians have expressed similar views, but Utah Senator Mitt Romney thinks the games must go on. The human rights issue involves China and the Uyghurs. In July 2020, the United Kingdom Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab accused China of gross and egregious human rights abuses against the Uyghurs. The Trump administration said the treatment of the Uyghurs was genocide. No country plans an Olympics boycott at this time. The International Olympic Committee ignored charges of human rights violations in awarding the country the 2008 Beijing Summer Olympics and the 2022 Beijing Winter Games. The 2022 IOC Beijing event is scheduled to start in less than four months. That date, though, remains in question because of the COVID-19 pandemic, although almost everyone connected to the Games has to have a COVID-19 vaccine or two or three. Olympic boycotts never work. American President Jimmy Carter ordered a boycott of the 1980 Moscow Summer Games because the Soviet Union refused to leave Afghanistan. A good number of Western countries followed Carter's lead. The Soviets left Afghanistan in 1989. I'm Evan Weiner.